even though it's winter, sometimes I just want something light and delicious to eat. Today I'm gonna make a really delicious Asian shrimp salad. And guess what I'm using? If you guess citrus, you're right. Today it's oranges and limes again. A great combination, evidently, in a Thai-inspired dish. You need to supreme two oranges. They can be navel or they can be cara cara, which is what these are. If I just like the beautiful color of the cara cara. Remove the peel and the pith from the oranges and discard those. Then go back in. If there's any little pieces of pith attached to the orange, get rid of that. Cut between the membranes, allowing the segments to drop into the bowl. And this time you're not using the orange juice for the dressing, but if a little bit collects in the bowl, don't worry about it. These oranges are gonna be the base of a delicious citrus and vegetable salad that's gonna go with the poached shrimp. All right, speaking of which, I think I'm gonna poach my shrimp now. I have a pound of large shrimp. Simmering water, add your shrimp, and they shouldn't take very long to cook at all. You basically just need to cook them until they uh, curl up, turn bright pink, and are opaque throughout. Just let those sit, don't overcook them. Maybe it'll take one minute. Maybe bring them back to a boil and then remove them. Meanwhile, I think I can do one more thing. I'm gonna peel my carrots. Peel your carrots and then julienne them. It actually is much easier to julienne a large carrot than two small carrots. If you have a mandolin, use a mandolin here and just cut your carrot very thinly into little planks. About a one and a half inches long is what, how I usually go. I can see that my shrimp are ready to take off. They've just come to a boil. Just scoop your shrimp out. If you wanted to, you could run these under cold water to stop the cooking. That might not be a terrible, terrible idea. One rinse should be enough. They don't have to be completely cold, but you don't want them to continue cooking and getting tough. So, ready. Back to my carrots. Cut the little planks lengthwise very thinly, and that's julienne, but you know that. Sometimes these are called very thin matchstick strips. In layman's terms, add that directly to the bowl with the oranges. Now I'm gonna make just a little bit of a quick pickle. I'm gonna start with one lime or maybe half a lime and just squeeze it directly over the carrots. So get your lime juice on your carrot as soon as it goes into the bowl. Just let them sit there while you cut up your jicama. You need about a cup of julienne jicama. I don't know if you've ever used jicama, have you? It looks like this, it's a root vegetable. You need about a quarter of this jicama. They're a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet, but very crunchy and kind of juicy too, but not starchy like a potato and you can eat it raw. It's really cool. If you've never had it, I suggest looking for it and trying it. Basically making an Asian slaw here, which is what jicama is highly suited for. And I'm using Jesse's mushroom lining up method for slicing more efficiently. I'm gonna shingle my jicama slices and then just slice on down the line. It's working very well. Is that about a cup? I think that's a cup. Mmm. This is a really good one, but it's super sweet. I wonder if winter is the best season for jicama. I didn't think it was, but you never know. So pick about a half a cup of leaves of cilantro. You can coarsely chop it, but the leaves are really pretty and it makes a nice presentation on your final salad. I didn't do this, but you could do it. If you're cooking your own shrimp, do the cilantro first and then put the stems into your poaching liquid. I have some lettuce soaking in some water in here in my handed in salad spinner. It was kind of dirty, so I let it soak for a few minutes in really, really cold water. Not only will that release all of the dirt, but it'll crisp the lettuce up if it's slightly under crisp. Lift it out. Wow, look at all that dirt in there. See, it really was dirty. It's always worth washing lettuce, no matter what. Dump out the water. All right. Let's dress the salad. This is basically to taste about a tablespoon of a neutral oil, give or take, and then chili paste, my favorite, one to two teaspoons or more to your taste. I'm gonna go straight for two because I know I'm gonna want it. You could also use very, very finely sliced Thai chili if you had one. Fish sauce. I love the flavor of fish sauce. If you don't like it, just leave it out and you can just get your saltiness from your salt. You don't need to substitute anything else. Stir it together. Salt, not too much because of the fish sauce. A pinch of sugar. Keep the sugar there because you might want a little bit more. This is all to taste. So use your own palate because I can't really tell you what you're gonna want. It's pretty good. A little bit more lime juice. I'm happy now. Now just add your shrimp. You could have taken the tails off. I left them on because I think they're cute, but then you have to take them off while you're eating them and some people don't like that. 
After you add your shrimp, you're definitely going to want to stir it around and then give it a taste and see if you like it. You might want more fish sauce, more sugar, more lime juice, more of everything. I don't know, but you might. Just give it a little bit of, give it a little love. That's called tasting and adjusting for seasoning. You want it to be a balance of hot, sour, salty, and sweet. Those are the four major flavor components. And then stir in your cilantro, about a half a cup. It's really fresh and delicious, and you're gonna love it. Give yourself a little plate. Just get a little bit of lettuce. Serve up your salad on your delicious lettuce leaves. Oh my gosh. Don't you just wanna eat that up? Who could say no? Don't let your winter be drab. Whip up this bright and fresh, citrusy, delicious salad and you're gonna feel so light and delightful that you're gonna wanna eat like 10 pounds of cake when you're done.